Well, hey there, it's Sandy, and I've got a super fast mass production one layer card. I know I don't do this very often, but the Trinity stamp set has really got me excited about this one, and it was a lot of fun to make. And it's super fast and inexpensive. I'm going to make it with the manger in it. You could make it without the manger and get done even quicker. I've used a card base that's cut from Nina cardstock, the cream color. And first I stamped in a khaki color the manger, and I cut out a mask, leaving some open area at the top so that I could add some hay. And then I stamped the verse in green and grabbed my colored pencils. I'm using Prismacolors today, but you could use any brand of colored pencils. And I'm coloring right over top of it. I didn't like the khaki color. I only have one brown, apparently, in my entire collection of inks. I don't really have very much for colored inks. And colored right over it with a reddish brown color. And then I grabbed a dark brown color to add a little bit of detail. Just a few lines across is enough to make it look like wood. And that's really all I wanted was to give it that, that flavor. Just a couple quick swipes. And then I picked a color for the hay. And color that over the top. Now my thought originally, this was the first card that I made, was to make the hay look like it's hanging down in front of the manger. But the color wasn't opaque enough to make it look right. It just kind of had this weird sort of, I don't know, partial color. It just looked weird and wrong. So instead I took the dark brown color and went up into the hay area and extended that. And it worked just great. I also will be adding a little bit of sparkle to the hay later on in this card, but you could leave it just like that as well. The lettering though is the super easy part. Just choose a color of pencil that's darker than the color of the ink that you've stamped in and make a shadow on the bottom half. You could also just do one word, but I'm gonna do all the words on this card. And then I'm gonna put a little highlight with a white pen on the very top. And these cards, I'm making some mass production ones. I do this every year. I have one design that I usually come up with for those people who are not appreciators of the cards that I make that have a ton of coloring and a ton of time and embellishments and layering and stuff put into them. But I want to send them something that tells them I really care. And adding just a little bit of coloring to something like this is enough to make me feel good about it. I'm not just sending them a throwaway card for the sake of performative holiday celebrationness, but instead I'm giving them something that actually has a little bit, bit of me poured into it. I also wanted to mention these inks that I'm using. I, I'll show you one here in the green and then I also will have a picture of one in red in this video. The inks are from Memento and I have in my, my drawer, I have a whole bunch of inks that were wrapped up in the back. They were still in their plastic And these two Memento ones were were in that. I bought them a couple Christmases ago and I wanted to use them. Memento inks are Copic friendly. And so that's a really good thing. They don't bleed through the paper and you could use your Copic markers with them. Lots of good things about them, but they were still in their plastic. What the heck is wrong with me? But I used them on these cards. They stamp really nicely. And I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to be using them for a, a bit more because... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dork buying stuff and then leaving it in my drawer. Does anybody else do that or is it just me? Go get out that thing that's still in its plastic and use it. I was really tickled that I bought them years ago and they still hadn't dried out. So that's a good thing. So anyway, there is my little, my little tidbit on the inks. But for the highlights, I'm just adding a little bit of white onto the top side of each of the letters. Don't worry about light sources and all that. Just put a little highlight up there. For a quick card like this, it's just going to read as dimensional. For the sparkle that I told you was coming, I'm going to add a little bit of this Nouveau Glitter Accents to it. And I was told about using this stuff and I was very excited about it because recently I did a bunch of glitter cards and I still like from a month ago, I still have glitter everywhere and I cannot get rid of it. No matter how many Swiffer sheets I go through, it's everywhere. This stuff though is just gonna stick on there and I like it. It's called Fresh Snowfall, it's the color that I'm using. 
And I like the fact that it's a bigger bottle. For those of you who have arthritic hands and can't deal quite well with the tiny stickles bottles, this big bottle from Nuvo is quite nice. It, it's very comfortable in your hand. So there you go. That is my cards for today. And I hope this is inspiring to you to put a little extra love into whatever your mass production card is going to be for this year so that you make sure that you pass on your love to somebody, not just the performative holiday greeting card. All right, that's it for today. I will see you again very, very soon. Have a great day. Go make something beautiful. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.